Okay, as you know, every bodybuilder needs his energy to train and train hard. We diet for about 12 weeks, and uh, a few of the foods that we are going to be discussing are laid out here in front of me at one of my favorite restaurants, The Sizzler. This is where I have a tendency to tr come and eat right after I get done training, and I will describe each and every item in front of us and uh, show you what you can eat rather than what you can't eat. All right, this first item here is a bocce chicken, dry. We have two chicken breasts with a little taste of lemon to flavor and season. Give it a little bit of taste. We have our broccoli here, a, a form of complex carbohydrates with a dry baked potato. This, my friends, is teriyaki sauce. It's a no-no. Get rid of it. Don't even buy it. So what we have is protein and our complex carbohydrates. This is a typical lunch for me after I get done training, along with some iced tea and some equal to give it a little bit of flavor. Over here we have a salad. Now, I have a tendency to eat a lot of salads and I bring my own protein. I usually eat two cans of tuna fish that are packed in water that's low sodium. I just put the tuna fish on top of it. I have my dark greens, I have some onions, some uh, eggs, so I take out the yolks and I mix my tuna fish all up in there and I usually drink about two or three sizes of water, about this size to wash it all down. Uh, no complex carbohydrates for this meal. It's all protein and roughage. Over here, we move over into my next meal, and this is a, a New York steak with broccoli, no complex carbohydrates. I'm getting a lot of my energy from the fat that's in the steak. And generally speaking, I eat two of these. Two steaks with a larger portion of this broccoli, complex carbohydrates, and uh, I kind of stay away from the starchy carbohydrates at this stage on my third meal of the day. Over here, we move into fish. I usually will eat my fish totally dry. This is trout, grilled. Sprinkle a little bit of lemon wedge on it just to give it a little bit of flavor. It's got plenty of protein and I'll eat a uh, baked potato dry and I usually will go to the gym and train for my second time after that. And I generally have about two glasses of water this size or an iced tea. Over here, this is my treat. This is the, uh, I consider it almost like cheating. I'll have a mixed assortment of fruits uh, immediately after I train as I prepare my dinner. I have pineapple, I have cantaloupe, I have a little bit of honeydew, some watermelon, and some grapes. This satisfies my sweet tooth and my craving for uh, sugars. Um, generally, I'll have a cup of coffee before I do my workout. And uh, after I get done eating this, right after I train, uh, I'll usually have about 12 egg whites and uh, some more broccoli or asparagus to uh, fill me up. My last meal usually takes place about mm, 10 o'clock at night and uh, that last meal doesn't have complex carbohydrates. I don't know how many calories I consume. I have no idea how much body fat I, I uh, have on my body. I'm not very scientific. I eat when I'm hungry, and generally my emphasis is on the protein. That builds muscle. Usually I'll eat my complex carbohydrates just after or just before I train. I usually use the mirror as my guide. When I want to lose more body fat, I increase my cardio and cut back my complex carbohydrates. When I want to fill out a little bit more, I'll add an additional meal by waking up at maybe 5 o'clock in the morning and going a bit to bed a little bit later, maybe 11 o'clock. That way I can add one or two more meals, get a few more calories in me. But uh, when you're on a diet, you're gradually going to get a little bit weaker. And in a sense of getting weaker, that's not something I concern myself with. That's why I look in the mirror. As long as I'm getting more cut and I'm getting harder, my diet is taking place and my cardio is taking place, that's when I start to pay attention to the condition of my body and I pose and I flex and I squeeze. 12 weeks and I'll see you in New York.